Dipshit, faggot. I can't really stay for long. My schedule is packed like crazy. Yeah, I got a thing. Right, so I'll cut to the chase. Three weeks ago, or two and a half weeks ago, I decided to track down a certain someone. Dad. Ah. Uh... Tell you. Tell me what? Dad passed away in August. <laughs> That's not funny. That's yeah, it is. Kind Come of on, an man. asshole thing to joke about. Uh, well, I, he could be dead. I, for one, think he happens to be dead. I thought so too, but believe me, he's not dead. I got a PI to look for him, and it didn't take more than a couple of weeks to get some results. on that. Oh, but let me, let me take a look here. How are you able to afford a PI? Let's just say my allowance didn't quite cover it. Look at him. Pep Pep looks so great. He's lost weight. You know, I always thought he looked better as a clean-shaven man. Here's my suggestion. You loan me some money, say 500 bucks, I'll get you paid back by the end of the month, and I'll get you producer credit. Producer credit. See, I didn't go through all this effort just for the sake of finding Dad. He's really just the subject of a documentary I'm making. We're gonna road trip to Nebraska and film the entire journey on Super 8. It'll be like, on the road, with less amphetamines. But like Easy Rider, just in a sob. Okay, so... Pray tell, why did you go to all the trouble of... Finding Dad, if you're just making a road movie? Well, I needed a goal-oriented protagonist, and I think I could play that protagonist. Right. Um, secondly, how are you going to drive to Nebraska when you don't have a license? Brett has a license. Brett's going to drive you? All the way to Nebraska? Instead. Yeah, well, we're going to switch off. We're going to you know, stay in hotels, motels, anything. We're even going to bring a tent, get that whole wilderness feel to it. School. It's not a problem. I'm boycotting school. Ah, uh, uh, yes. You and your fellow student comrades are boycotting uh, Swampscott High's oppressive reign of bureaucracy, I take it? So it's kind of an involuntary boycott. You got suspended? Superintendent suspension. It's like three months. It's okay, though. I wouldn't have been able to do this road trip otherwise. Oh, great, great. That's just what I want to hear. Pep, pep, be proud. So I was in the library one day. Wait, do you remember that? Finished pervert from down the street? Vaguely. I'd been getting all my answers from my English test from that instructor's textbook. That asshole checked out the only copy for the rest of the semester and still had the nerve to come to the library just to spite me. Around finals time, I'd had enough of his shit, so I took him out. Did you whoop his ass? Fucked him up real nice. I didn't know I could do that either. I was proud of myself. Look at the scar his teeth left on my knuckles. Mm. You know, chicks dig scars. That's why the slaves got so much ass. Alright, well, I gotta go. Time is money in the business world. Do you think you can still help me out financially? When would you pay me back? By the end of the month. Uh, I usually spend everything on the company cards, so, uh, sorry. Thanks, anyways. It's good seeing you. 